Hello everybody and welcome to the second round of the World Cup match between Seri Schmel and RTSD I've been told that's what this this name is here on uh, Cyrillix um, so there you go Seri Schmel qualified he won the toss and chose to receive Necro Mirror he qualified through the Russian Blood Bowl League uh, one of three people he's only played about 20 odd games in Champs Ladder with a 60% win rate and I assume he's Russian um, RTSD qualified from UK BBL and I, d I don't know what nationality he is I think he's British but um, I'm not sure so but yeah they've both got Necro Seri Schmel's just got one one wolf which I don't know like, is it even worth going Necro if you're only going to have one? Like, I, I see the point of it. But the point of it, really, in, like, a progression environment is because Wolves are dodgy without block. When you get to start them both with block, or, in RTSD's case, get to give one piling on mighty blow, then, um, straight away, you give up a Surf here, potentially, but rolls a pal. No problem, we'll just pile on. Great animation, isn't it? The pylon. I think with the wolf. So yeah, he just he just piles on, gets a removal, turn one, no problem. And that's basically, you know, they've both taken some skills, um, but really RTSD is, and he's got two wolves for a start versus one wolf. They both got twelve. Um, RTSD dropped a white which is, you know, it makes more sense to drop him seeing as uh, seeing as you can start off the walls with skills, basically. But you know, he's got two Guardians teams, it's not a bad team with one wolf and, you know, he's, he's gone Wrestle Mighty Blow, which is, you know, looks crap, but <laughs> um, he's got to play like the role of Saka and and safety and main blitzer hasn't he so that kind of splits the difference I can see why he did that um, but yeah straight away on turn one he's kind of he's made himself very compact over one side hasn't he which which isn't great he's probably going to bring him here to shore that up no he's not he's I guess he actually could have got around the back one two three four five six seven eight and more or less he could have got around the back Normally, people filling in the back is a bit of a waste of time, but yeah, seeing as walls are so fast, he actually could have done. I would have favoured blitzing him and facing the ball with uh, the golem there, but just gonna blitz this random zombie and get another removal. <laughs> Not bad. Thanks to claws. Getting a KO. I'm just screening. And yeah, already this is looking bad, isn't it, for Seri Schmel? He's lost two players. I'm surprised he didn't. Because like, this is the weak link, isn't it, here? I would have thought this guy would have come in there to, to not invite pressure, but he didn't go for it. But he has. He has completely screened off his team. And now his team is just stuck in one half of his half. Not good. When you could really blitz this guy with a wolf. Unless he blitzes him and goes across, you know. So that's encouraging him to go even further over the side. Yeah, this is looking pretty bad already on turn on turn three. Well, removal there. Thanks to Mighty Blow. <laughs> Dodge they're both dodging their walls out after hits, which infuriates me when I'm playing against Necros, because I always make sure I do kind of safe blitzes so I don't have to dodge away again. 
And everyone who <laughs> against me just... I always set it up so they have to dodge away and they always make a dodge. You know, you know I, I know they should, you know, two times out of three or eight times out of nine if you use a reroll, but... It's always annoying, isn't it? Now he's squeezing... Squeezing him a bit harder now, isn't he? Only a stun? Wow. No, it's a KO. Okay, sorry. <laughs> so three KOs from the first three turns. That's pretty... Pretty shitty. And he's just... He's blocked everywhere, isn't he? There's just nothing he can do. Pretty much. I might have taken the boat down there. Boat down and no balls. Wouldn't have hated it. In fact, that would have taken the boat down, would have stopped his white getting served here. His really only option here is to like stay put or try to bust down the sideline. I mean, he's only one player down now, but it's it's not a good spot to be in, is it? He's really squeezed against the sideline, kind of relying on guard and stuff, but this ghoul is blitzable, isn't it? Surfable, should I say. Looks like that's what he's going to go for, even though it will be. Bit of a frenzy trap, two dice into a one dice. The good thing is he can't get counter surfed if he piles on. <laughs> Gets the double pile. <laughs> piles on for a cast. Oh my god. It's basically. RTSD has basically won this game in the first four turns, really. Four removals in four turns. Wolves on fire. And there's just no way, no way at all for Seri Schmel to go now, is there? This is absolutely horrible. Uh, Blitz with a wolf. Blitz with a rest of the wolf. One dice into one dice. And then run away. That's pretty much the only play you have. One, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that. Him... The wolf out to here. One, two, three, four, five, six. White to there, and then the game. Might have got a touchdown. Might have got a touchdown. But instead, um, the failing that dodge, he's just gonna get his gold surf. Wow, this is This is just awful, isn't it? Imagine, imagine, like, you know, I don't know how much you try to qualify. This is the thing with all of them. I mean, I know how much I try to qualify, and I, I, I only entered three qualifiers. Um, you know, which, obviously, given the fact that I'm a, I stream and I, uh, I'm only in one scheduled league, I could have entered more, a lot more. A lot of people did enter a lot more. But, uh, yeah, imagine how sad you've got to be if you go to all that trouble to qualify. <laughs> and this happens. I mean, could he have chosen a different team? Yeah. Could he have maybe he's played differently? Yeah. Is he getting absolutely ruined by the dice? Yeah. <laughs> so, it's pretty... It's just Blood Bowl, isn't it? That is Blood Bowl. This happens sometimes. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what team you pick. Or anything like that. Just games like this happen sometimes. It's just stupid, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, he didn't do himself any favours getting stuck on sideline like that. But... Just is what it is, isn't it? Four, four removals off about four blocks. And it's just... 
it's basically GG on turn six. I mean, he's he's got chances. Of course, he has chances. It's never over till it's over. It's blood, like that's another thing about Blood Bowl. It's never over till it's over. But it's also looking pretty bad. Of course, it's an AB bro. <laughs> Something else, this. Double scores. <laughs> oh, dear me. I don't know if I would have gone for the scatter here. I think it's so easy to clear the tackle zones, I wouldn't have risked it like landing on a zombie or something. Pylon does nothing, and a werewolf catches it. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It's really dumb, isn't it? So now we can even reinforce this screen a bit. Don't think you'll foul with no assists. So. One dies power. <laughs> no stuff. <laughs> I mean, fair play to ATSD. You know, you, you put the pressure on and, and everything. and You know, he, he didn't do anything wrong, but... It's not like he doesn't deserve it or what have you, but wow. What brutal dice. Tail back. But it ain't doing him many favours, is it? Just score here, don't you? I don't think. Just try anything. Dodge you can't get three dice with those claw pom. This course. So yeah, that's uh, that's almost all she wrote there. <laughs> Why are you two back? So it's uh ten. 10, 11 men versus 10 advantage for ITSD, so he's only one man up, so there's still chances. You know, he could get turned over on offense. I've seen it happen. <laughs> Yeah, just kind of a standard, almost rule of five defense there. I'm not sure I like letting the guard whites get hit. Like, why not just make it, you know, put these in one and move the guards there? Because this is super easy to hit the, hit the guards. I'm not sure I like that, but fair enough. I think if I was RTSD here, I would just think about getting a blitz, getting blitz done. I probably wouldn't even put the pom on the LOS. I'd probably put him back one. You know, just, just I would just, you know, lim damage limitation. You know, try to not get diced. You know, don't Stevie G, don't let this slip. I mean, he's quite open to a blitz here. Okay, he doesn't get it. But if there'd been a blitz. It's this guy with a flesh golem, and then all these swarm through, and he would have felt unlucky, but he just left himself wide open to a blitz, only having one player, and then letting the swarm through. 
So he almost he almost got away with one there, and like you know, it's fair enough. He's probably he's probably pretty happy with how this game's going, and uh, you know maybe not giving 110% concentration. Um, it's certainly easy to lose concentration a bit when when it's so easy. But he is only one player up, so he shouldn't he shouldn't get too cocky right now. Another cast certainly helps. We just foul seems he's got the grind. No. Very restrained. See, you know, I like this. I like this ball position more than almost any other. <laughs> Um, oh, I don't like this so much. I think he was in a good spot where he was, actually. Um, like, okay, he's got the bribe. It's kind of a free if he break, but that lets him get a bit of pressure on the ball, doesn't it? Uh, I wouldn't mind him being here or here or something. I guess he might just hit the claw pot because he's sick of him. Which is also fair. And then he can foul him as well. That was a nice, that was a nice blitz around, wasn't it? Using the guard to not get frenzy trapped, and then either an additional block or foul or both. And he gets no hard break. It's a bit of a <laughs> He could have actually pushed this. He's on this white to here, then he could have blocked him twice and served him. That would have been the play that I would have gone for. But why surf him when you can just power him and knock him out? <laughs> That's easier. Starting to get a bit one sided again, isn't it? Another <laughs> race <laughs> <K> Okay, <-O. laughs> Oh dear me. What's this? Three, six, nine. So it's 11 versus 7. Wow. That's brutal. Four man advantage. <laughs> and it was only it was only one at half time and now it's now it's four. Wow, really obvious frenzy try. Um, don't know what he was thinking there. Maybe he's already mentally given up at this point. Can't can't blame anyone, I mean this is your World Cup. Your World Cup dream just getting shattered, isn't it really with this this these dice? Again, you could you could surf this dog by pushing it there, pushing it there, and then off. Obviously, a little bit risky with a where you would leave the the ghoul, but. Still an option. Oh. Man. The lack of block getting him a knockdown and a Kaz. I mean, if he had block, he'd have taken the both down, wouldn't he? But because he doesn't have block. <laughs> he has to re-roll, and it gets him a pow. And there's another one bites the dust. <laughs> three cars, three KOs.
Basically, the flesh is alright, isn't it? It's, it's like something. It's almost not worth doing because he's got so little chance, but. Fair enough. He's still trying. And I mean, to be fair, with with six players on the pitch, this is about as bad as you can do against six players. So uh, yeah, fair play, fair play to to, to Seri Schmel there for you know making a good effort to do something. Probably going to force a dodge here. Oh man, chaos is worse. How's the white? It's, it's just stupid, isn't it? Two cast, two cast ghouls, two regen fails. Absolutely ridiculous. How many? Four players in the pitch. Seven players off. We must have five players in the pitch. <laughs> He's only got four. embarrassing myself now with my lack of counting ability. This looks like four players. But how is there only... Oh, there's eight off the pitch. Alright, fair enough. There's eight off the pitch. There's four left. And they're all movement four and agility two. So, this could be the first pitch clear of the World Cup, couldn't it? It's, it's He's got four turns to claw on things with Frenzy. And he can foul with a Brian as well. We could see a pitch clear of the World Cup. <laughs> There's another one gone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's a shame Fresh Golems have got to stand firm because otherwise he could have just surfed that one. <laughs> got to get the huge foul in, haven't he? Standing up, he's not going to get the uh, not going to get the pitch clear, is he? Doesn't even break a V. Double one. <laughs> Jim foul. Oh well, no pitch clear, but three players left. Four cast, five KO. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> no chance in hell. But you know, fair play to RTSD. I think, I think he did well um, the first half defending. Um, for what there was of it, but you know he's making removal every turn. So, so. It's pretty easy to defend well when you make a removal every turn. This really was. I don't even know. The, the craziest thing is, I don't even know if this was the dicing of the World Cup or not because. That human team that had three cars, three cars, three KO, non-recovered, and then he lost two to heat as well. That was that might have been the worst. There's no even need to do that, really. Is there? There's nothing that can happen. Could have left him sitting in the old time. Well, congrats to RTSD, but yeah, you got a feel for Seri Schmel there, haven't you? Absolutely no chance because of dice. 17 AV breaks. Not even that crazy considering how many blocks he got, but 
the chaos and the injuries. Well, I mean, not it is crazy, but not as crazy as what some people have had. Uh, but yeah, the, certainly the number of Kaz and KOs were ridiculous, and there was just no chance. So that's just the way they, that's blood ball, isn't it? Sometimes. So thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.